Hi there, it's Paul in Perth here again. Today we're going to look at a common problem you get with uh, these, these key fobs, or in fact any key fob on any car, and that is that the battery's gone flat. So you'll find yourself thinking, well, how do I get to the battery compartment? How do I, how do I change the battery in this? It's actually really simple. You only need two tools. You're going to need a 90 degree pick, and you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. So let's start with a 90 degree pick. In the side of the key, you'll notice that there is um, this channel here, and in that channel, you'll see that there is a uh, rectangular hole. What I'm gonna do is push the pick into there and pop it out. What I've actually done is I've pressed on the top of that tang. Now, you need to be really careful when you do that because these tangs have a nasty habit of snapping. And when they snap, they'll end up looking like that. And as you can see, the tang is missing on that second one. Once they're broken, they will still fit in the body, but they will just fall straight out. And that one's not, there you go. That will just fall straight out. And that's quite annoying. So be quite careful when you, uh, when you separate those two. Now, so now you're left with this part here, and you'll notice that there is a small area here where a small flathead screwdriver fits in quite nicely. So I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna twist diagonally to separate them, and then I, you'll find that you can fully separate the two halves. And there you go, there's your battery there. So uh, you get your replacement battery, you pop this one out, you put your new battery in, and then you reassemble it in the reverse order to um, to what it came out. So you'd put your new battery in, you would uh, put this back together just by clicking it together, you'd click that back in, and there you go. So changing the battery on these is actually really straightforward when you know how, you only need a small flathead screwdriver and a 90 degree pick. If this helped you, please click the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.